Hi, my Pisces. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your weekly spread for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 20, um, 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Um, I've added tons of new stuff to the website. I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap. I have incense. I've got sage. I've got um, incense holders. I have crystal stones, pendants, protection bracelets, all sorts of good stuff, jamiezebra23.com. Okay, guys, this is what's going on. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers Weekly Spread. You've got the Six of Wands. You've got the Justice card. You've got the Six of Cups. You've got the Seven, or the Chariot card, which is a Seven. And then you've got the, the Lover's card, which is also a Six. So you've got three Sixes here. So this is a part of Destiny. You have one, two, three major Arcanas here. Um... So it's kind of like confirming that this is destiny. Everything is happening how it's supposed to. You may you may not feel this way this week, but everything is happening how it's supposed to. So as far as karma and somebody getting um getting what what they deserve, they're going to be getting that this week. Pisces. I'm also seeing here that for a lot of you, um, you felt like somebody was just getting away with everything and getting away with everything. No, they're not. The universe has to do. The universe has to execute these things at the right time. So like let's say let's say somebody's living large right now. <clears throat> they have everything that they can think of. Their life is good, good love, romance, all that good stuff. So if the universe takes ten dollars from them, is that gonna affect them? No. Um let's say what you know, what if you know, what if their car broke down? How would that affect them? They have the money to fix it, so it wouldn't affect them. They would just get a new car or you know, so the universe has to wait. They wait for perfect timing. So it doesn't mean, so like, let's say somebody betrayed you. It doesn't mean that the other party will get betrayed. But what it does mean is however hurt you felt and pain during your experience of betrayal, they would need to then inflict that pain onto the person. So for some people, their money is what would hurt them. For some people, it's romantic. That's what would hurt them. For some people, it's their family. That's what would hurt them. So they have to, for some people, it's a vehicle. <laughs> so whatever that would be, that's that's what their karma would be. That's the debt that they would have to pay, is, is to inflict the same kind of pain and mental anguish that they inflicted upon you. So keep that in mind. Okay, now, <clears throat> moving forward, we've got the Six of Cups. I do feel like somebody is going to be reaching out to you to find out information, Pisces. They want information from you. Um, somebody also feels like... Um, uh, some of you have been doing the cord cutting videos or um, energetic cleansing, karma clearing videos. It's showing here that it's worked because whoever um, <clears throat> whoever you cleared yourself from, they're going to be trying to reattach. So this could be, you know, somebody trying to do energetic work against you, and now it doesn't work anymore. So they want you to they want you to come in so you can see them, or they want you to call them. Yeah, but it, it doesn't. You're going to be smart and you're going to stay away from whoever you ask to stay away from you, energetically. We do have the lover's card here, so this week there is an opening for new love, Pisces. <clears throat> I am also seeing here, Pisces, with this victory card here, that, um, that there are new opportunities, but the thing is you have to think outside the box in order to get all of this stuff going. I feel like all of this could have to do with transportation. This could have to do with you meeting new people. This could have to do with new romance, but it's sort of like if you don't mingle, you're not going to meet anybody. Um, some of you will also be doing things to your appearance this week to make you kind of more um, up to date. Some of you are stuck in a rut, um, so you're going to uh, become a little bit more up to date. Also, some of you um, have been working on uh, something for so long, you need to like expand it. So it's like, okay, you've, you've mastered a certain area in your life, and now you need to move forward to go to the next level. See, uh, sometimes when we stay at the same level and we don't expand and grow, the universe sort of tries to take things from us so that we can, um, so that it'll force us to want to expand. So if you're having those problems this week, it just, it just means that the universe is encouraging you to move forward on a larger scale so that you can be even more successful than what you already are. 
I'm also seeing with this justice card, there is a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius involved here. I feel like this person is going to see the light. Or if this is you towards a um, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, big emphasis on Libra. Um, it's showing here that um, that you're going to see the light or they're going to see the light and want to come back to you in a positive way. Maybe they see that you were something special. I just saw a white feather just go up and go over this way. I don't know if anybody saw that. Maybe 10 seconds before this. Pretty interesting. Um, but anyway, okay. So I'm also seeing here that uh, some of you do have car repairs this week, but it shows that you'll quickly be able to repair them. I'm also seeing here with the justice scales, Archangel Michael is at play right now. So for some of you, you met your soulmate, you met the one, the one you're supposed to be with, but for some reason it was short-lived. So Archangel Michael may be working to get you guys back together this week. Um, some of you have been asking and praying and praying for some things. It shows that whatever you were asking to return, whether this be a good job, money, um, return to a location, re return to better health. It shows here that all those things will be happening this week. Um, so there could be a cancer, a fellow water sign, a cancer Pisces or Scorpio that's coming back to you this week. Um, big emphasis on cancer because we do have the chariot card here. Um, we do have um, good news coming in about a Sagittarius, a Leo or an Aries. Let's see. We do have Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo energy here in the romance department as well. So Pisces, have an amazing week. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.